about three years ago, I died and went to hell. How I died was I had a heart attack and I was down there because I didn't have Jesus Christ at the time as my savior. And before I was a Christian, I used to make fun of Christians. I used to make fun of the Bible. I used to make fun of Jesus. I used to say all sorts of horrible things. I used to wear all black. Um, and, you know, this did really happen. Some of you might not believe it, but I know it happened. And I want to share it with all of you watching this so that you realize that there is a hell. And so that you do not go there because it is a horrible place of torment. Horrible. And I mean that so much. There's no parties in hell. It was a nightmare beyond nightmares. Okay, here's the, the story. I'll, I'll try to sum it up fast because I know I don't have all day to explain it. What happened was before I was a Christian, before I prayed and read the Bible, I used to be in a horrible depression, a hopeless, faithless, just spiraling depression full of anger, hatred, and I used to be just, just down, always, spiritually. I used to just hate the world. I used to hate every person around me. I used to, I used to want to kill myself before I was a Christian, but I didn't want to go through with it because I was afraid to, if that makes any sense to you. If I can explain it, you know, better. I basically hated myself. I hated people around me. I was just depressed. I was just in a dark place. Well, what happened was one night I collapsed on my bed face down, feeling horrible, as I did every night. And that particular night I felt my chest just... I felt my heart just give out, like, bam. And I was falling in this dark place, and the place was pitch black. This was this is this is what happened exactly after um, I died and went to hell. I was in this place; it was just pitch black. I had my hand in front of my face; I couldn't even see it. That's how black it was, just pitch black and. The way I felt down there, I was just in complete coldness and bone-chilling cold, meaning my whole soul was just full of full of coldness and and, uh, and just numbness, because that's how cold it is down there. And I just felt paralyzed with fear, because that's what hell is. It's just fear, all of it. It's constant fear, constant torment. Because it says in the Bible, fear has torment. And that's true. Fear does have torment. And when I was in hell, I felt constant fear. Also, I heard this creature that was saying bad words to me, like cuss words in my ear. And I couldn't understand what the creature was saying. But it was screaming at the top of its deep voice all these horrible things right in my ear. And after reading the Bible, I found out obviously it was a demon, and it was it was speaking in a, in a in a demonic language. Also, too, when I was down there, I heard this booming, masculine-like laughter. It was a laughter that was it was just like a mocking laughter, like a "ha ha, I got you" laughter. Obviously, though, I didn't hear him say that, but that's what that laughter implied. And after seeing other documented stories of people who've been to hell and back, I found out that the laughter that I heard, that was the laughter of Satan, who sits on his throne laughing at the lost souls that were down, that were down there and are down there, because he's probably still there. And, you know, he goes back and forth on the earth and back there, you know to tempt people, but, uh, but anyway, 
I was down there and I just was trying to escape by punching myself, clawing myself, my face, meaning, you know, the face of my soul, not this physical body. The physical body was on earth at the time. That was my soul because the soul looks exactly like the physical body, as you guys know. And I was just down there and I just was, I was just horribly, you know, depressed worse than I've ever been when I was down there because it's like it's like this I'll, I'll describe to you what hell is like what it's like being down there the feeling take the worst emotion you've ever had in your whole entire life times that by a thousand and that's how bad hell is it's it's horrible and it's hell is eternal meaning some people sadly got to deal with that all of eternity because the soul of a human being lasts forever it either goes to heaven or hell. Okay, anyway, back to my story. And this is true, too. And some of you guys may not believe it, but I know it happened from the bottom of my heart. What happened was, when I was down there, you know, I was thinking of all these ways to get out, screaming cuss words. I was, I was, you know, just screaming, help, 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 and nothing was happening. And I just, I felt like I was, like, falling, like, And um, the only thing I could think about doing was to scream Jesus because that was the only hope that I had when I was down there. And realize, too, that before I was a Christian, I used to hear the term by people, Jesus saves, but I never truly understood what it meant. I never fully realized, you know, the whole meaning behind that one saying that Jesus saves. And when I was down there, and this is the best part of the story. When I was down there, I screamed Jesus at the top of my lungs as loud as I could because that's all I could do. I wanted to get out. And as soon as I said, G, like I was in the middle of saying it, like Jesus, because as you guys know, you know, the Lord already knows our future before it even starts. So he probably knew that I was going to say it. And when I was in the middle of saying Jesus, I saw this beam of white light. And this is amazing how it happened. This beam of white light, this holy light, just, whoosh, and then quick as lightning, he was in front of me wearing a long, white, glowing robe. And it was so amazing. Because, like, all at once, I felt guilty, happy, surprised. And because I felt, you know, guilty for all my, my filthy sins I've committed, I... I looked away and looked down in shame, meaning like I saw, I glanced at him. I didn't see his face because it was so much light like on him that it, he's so holy that like when I looked at him, because I was in so much darkness at the time, because I, I've never experienced, you know, the love of Jesus. I just, I did, I, I was like, you know, what, what could I do thinking to myself, you know? And so I, I looked away and I felt him grab my body. He didn't say anything to me and took me out of there as quickly as he came down, meaning he took me out, you know, out of hell, quick as lightning. And, like, it was probably the most amazing experience of my life. And my story actually lines up with what Jonah experienced in the Bible. If you read the book of Jonah, it says that a whale swallowed him, and he died, and he went to hell, and he screamed to the Lord to help him, and the Lord saved him out of hell. Well, similar to what happened to me. And my advice to all of you watching this is please never go to hell. Please trust the Lord with all your heart. Yeah, if you're a Christian, you're going to go through some hardships. But I'm telling you, this life on earth goes by like that. You know, it's like a big hotel stay. It feels like yesterday I was in, I was in kindergarten. Look how old I am now. You know, life goes by really fast on this earth and eternity has no end. So please trust Jesus Christ as your savior. And how you can do that is you can invite him in your life with a prayer. And you who's watching this at your house, this video of mine, you can actually feel the presence of Jesus right where you're at. If you pray this one simple prayer from your heart.
It's that easy. Okay, so just repeat exactly after me, and I'll, I'll pray it with you. Repeat this one prayer after me, and you will be born again. You'll, you'll feel the presence of Jesus. You'll feel what it's like to get your sins forgiven. And Jesus said in the Bible, he said, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That's in John 3.3 3 in the Bible. So if you pray this prayer slowly, sincerely, and from your heart, you'll get born again. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll tell you to please repeat exactly after me. Say from the bottom of your heart sincerely, Lord Jesus, forgive me for all of my sins. Thank you for dying on the cross for me and rising from the dead. Lord Jesus, I want to follow you and not religion with faith from now on. Lord Jesus, I promise to read pages of the Holy Bible, which is your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you've done for me. You're so holy, and you're so awesome, Lord Jesus. Be my friend, Lord Jesus. I want to feel the love you have for me, Lord Jesus. Amen. And you know, if you prayed that one simple prayer from your heart, you're definitely feeling the presence of Jesus right where you're at. And, you know, my advice to you is don't thank me, thank him. Because the Lord wanted me to make this video to to get the message across to you guys that hell does exist and it's not a joke. It's not, it's not some place with a bunch of parties going on. It's absolute torment. And, you know, please trust the Lord as your Savior, Jesus Christ. And remember, he died on the cross for our sins, rose from the dead, conquered death, so that if we accept him, we don't have to face the sting of death. And also, too, remember that judgment day is soon, but you can settle it out of court with Jesus Christ. So please, trust him as your Savior. God bless you.